Hey, good morning, Turtle Club. It is 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this wonderful Saturday morning, which means it's time again for Mag vs. Wild. That's our Ark Survival Evolve playthrough, where we're trying to solo everything from the itty bittiest dodo all the way up to the largest of the dinosaurs. And we are, well, according to the game, we're cold. That's no uh, difference than what it usually is. All right, so guys, what we're going to be doing is we're uh, we're really want to tame the Nicky, uh, Icky, not Icky, but uh, <laughs> two two different things. Um, and so what we've been looking into things that will actually kind of get that going for us. So we have discovered that there's some stuff that will get us an Ichthyosaurus, and one of those things is what's called a rock carrot. Now. The rock carrot's not by going to do it by itself. We actually have to start doing what's called kibble production. And we can make kibble. Um, it digs uh, some berries, some water, some uh, fiber, you know, a lot of stuff that we actually have plenty of uh, in spades, in theory at least. So what uh, is preventing us is we need what's called a rock carrot. And rock carrots are seeds that we get um, that are a rare spawn for doing berries. As many of you know, we harvest a lot of berries. And we take those berries and we put them over here in our seed bin. As you can see, uh, we have rock carrot seeds here. We have a total of only three of them. That's that's an issue. We need a lot more seeds um, if we want to really start getting production a lot more plots also. Which means we're going to need greenhouses. And the way you get greenhouses, as you can see, we, we got to get to level 42. Now, fortunately, we are 40, so we're not that far off. We, we aren't, you know, desperately far away, but we're not really close. And that, to me, sounds like some stuff that we definitely need to get going with and working on. Um, but we also need to make sure we get all the stuff we need to do it. So, we're going to start trying to grow some rock carrots over here while we're waiting. And I think, I want to say, I thought we had a cooking pot already made up. It looks like we don't. Maybe the Ingram that I, I missed. Um, no, not there either. Hey, Tiger, good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Looks like, uh... Looks like we either died with it, which is completely plausible, or we imagined the whole thing. And uh, that, that's also equally possible. So, what we are definitely going to want to do is, the first thing is there, is we are going to... Hey, Waffle. Yeah, man. Ark's been back for about two weeks now. So, welcome back, man. Um, every Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and Monday morning at 3 a.m. we're going to stream Ark. Uh, Saturday and Sunday is for three hours, and it's six hours on Monday. That's the current goal. That's the current status on Ark. Uh, it took a while to come back. You know, I, I got burned out on it uh, for a lot of reasons. But we're, we are there, guys. We are there. So, we are going to be looking at the trike sidle. Um, no, nah, man, we're doing we're doing solo, dude. But uh, but thank you for the offer. We appreciate that. So, we need some hide. We need some wood. And we need some fiber to get our triceratops berry gatherable. And looks like there's no... Oh, we got 12 hide. All right. So, 12 hide. And I don't think we have any other hide in this container. Nope. So what we're looking for doing, guys, is we're going to have to get some hide to be able to make that hide saddle. Now, uh, yeah, no worries, dude. No worries, man. We're, we're, we're trying to show the community what the game's about, what they can expect. Um, no, dude, we're playing Ark. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. We, we played Minecraft. We streamed Minecraft for um, like a good solid four hours, and it, it just really didn't do it for us, man. You know, it's one of those games that it. I don't think my experience was as, as optimal as it could have been. 
because it was one of those things that I didn't learn the game. I was kind of dragged through it. That's not to say I didn't have a good time. Um, it's just not as as good of a time as I have with other games. So, as the trike saddle made, oh, this helps if I actually type right. Still haven't typed right. All right. All right. So it's one that we can craft inside our inventory. So we need to grab the hide we have. Pull that out. All right, so now we're just going to go hunting um, animals for hide. Okay. And we know on this island that there's no there's no hide we're going to have because everything on this island is, is ours. Oh, maybe it's in this, this box? Nope, I was hoping we had our stuff in that box. All right, so here's our feeding trough. He's got some fish still. That's going to have to be replaced at some time. We're working on that, too. All right. But, yeah, if we can get a saddle on Sarah, we can start doing some stuff. And we may we may start working, Turtle Club, on getting the bridge to go from Mag Island to the mainland. We got three hours to kind of accomplish some stuff. And I I really want to get some grinding going on because we are we need to get up to level 43. So we can start our actual uh, greenhouse. That way we can get some real good plant production going. I am deathly cold. Alright, so... That's the blue arc. And we, we do pretty good over there on the blue arc. Um, well, the, the Gamma Command, we we don't like playing with the Gamma Changed, man. Um, people can see the screen pretty well, and it, we feel like it takes away from the experience, and we're trying to do this as, as unmodded, as unmodified as we can, because, again, the, the reason why we play games on stream isn't to, to excel at them, but to show people how much fun you can have. And I, I feel bad when someone, you know, plays a game for for a long time, and it's so heavily modified that when somebody goes home and buys the game, it's not the same game. So we try to, that's why we play it on PC, solo, uh, near vanilla. I mean, that's in, all in the description. So people that are experienced at the game can know what they're getting themselves into when they come to look. And that way people that are just trying out to see what's going on can have a pretty good idea what they're dealing with too. Alrighty, so and speaking of other stuff, what are we gonna need? Flintstone and wood. We need to get that so we can get that repaired because our torch always breaks on us. enough wood it looks like uh, that looked like it was a dinosaur possibly but it turns out it wasn't it was just a leaf and that's one of the reasons why the dark is just one of those things guys that can definitely affect you the particle effects of the fireflies are just awesome though you got to give props to the developers for doing a real good job on that all right so get our flint back Get our meat. We're going to get in the water and fill our water skin. Okay, so now that we got that going, we're just going to kind of meander around here a bit and see what we can find here. And I actually think, um, uh, see, so yeah, I think this is actually the center, not the island more I think about it because the the island is the first one if I remember right the centers this is the downloaded Mac pack all right so go over here let's 
So far, nothing that wants to kill us has, has found us yet. So we're okay with that. Go and repair our torch. Primitive torch sparkler has been repaired. Awesome. Look at your map. There's a huge floating island in the middle, and it is the center. Yeah, it's the it's the one that's got the uh, the the island with the the ring in the middle of it. The snow biomes on the west side, the redwood forest is on the south, and the uh, the fire islands on the the north. I, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um. I'll take this Ingram, and we'll just drop the rest of this. Can you see the map? Yeah, here's the map. That's all we've explored so far. We finally got to the point to where we can really start ramping up our stuff. Wait, no, it might be the center too. Yeah, I, I'm not. No, it might be the center too. Yeah, uh, tis the island. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was thinking it was the island, but then I remember that the center is like the download map. I hear something moving around. I just we haven't had it attack us yet. Okay, now that sounds like. All right, I know what that is. Uh, that that that's all right, man. No worries on that. No worries on that waffle. All right, that's one of them flying guys that swoop at you and hit you and steal your stuff. Yeah, that thing right there. Ugh. I don't know what he stole. I mean, what he steal? None of our arrows. None of our weapons. So I think we're okay. Oh, man. All right, and... Made my description as a center map. Uh, oh, it's a center map. Okay. Because you're either in the North Trop Island or the South Trop Island, probably south. Uh, I'm actually... The East Trop Island is where I'm at right now. I think that's Southeast is what it's called. So, all right. Yeah, it's the center map, so we're going to stick with the center description. And I know this is not the original map from from talking to people. So, yeah, I, I, for some reason I tagged it as the island because I was thinking that the one that had the big old giant island in the middle was the island. But I think the island map is just one giant island, if I remember, and not multiples. I know if we go adventure into all this mess, it's going to wind up with death and little pieces of my body everywhere. Oh, here's a metal. Ah. We definitely want to farm all the metal out of this that we can. At least it looks metal. I'm not getting much metal out of it, though. All right. They both are towards the east of the map, but all right. Yeah, that, that's fair. All right, drop that because we don't need that really. We do sort of need the wood. All right. Now we're starting to get a few things that we need. Uh
That's what I thought that was. Dilo. There we go. You shall donate to the hide. Thank you, sir. Well, I was hoping the we could knock him out. Did he fall over? Ah, he didn't. He got away. He got away. Oh, well. That happens. Alright, what, what size level is this dude? How big a Triceratops are you? Level 5. Alright. That miss that went wide. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. You gotta run faster than he is. You gotta run faster than he is. You gotta stop getting him in for 14 damage, that's for certain, too. Uh, these things chasing after us makes me sad. I'm trying to remember if these things are pack animals. I, I can't, though. Oh! Oh! Getting knocked in the ocean would be bad for us. Hey, you got my spoiled meat. We're okay with the spoiled meat going away at the moment. Should have stuck to hunting turtles. Should have stuck to hunting turtles. These things hurt. They hit. They do a lot of armor damage. Fortunately, they turn wide. Oh, that was the peggle getting hit. Man, we're just hitting him in this his armor collar. I think they got 30 damage on him, maybe, give or take. That was 14. Man, we're low on, running low on durability on this. We're running low on a lot of things. We got it. We had. We definitely have to stop hunting these triceratops at this point. I uh, took my hide. Oh, Pego took my hide. That's not good. The whole reason for coming out here was to get hide. Ah. Ouch. Oh, we killed him. Uh, that was just a level five, guys. I was just a level five. That was that was brutal. That was brutal. You should make a taming pin as soon as you can. Um, you know, we we have plenty of things that we've tamed. So we're doing all right. We got a couple little you can kill stuff in it too. Yeah, that, you know it's a bit of a smarter thing. I you know I won't begrudge that at all. You know the taming pins do make things a little easier, but they they feel kind of cheap, and that's that's kind of like the I guess the gamer purist to me wanting to be more problematic to myself than I should. Put in some wood. Can we repair this while we need for it? We need fiber. That's not too bad to repair. I mean, and the the one thing you also kind of have to keep in mind is we, we play this to have fun, but we also play this so other people can have fun while watching. And no one really wants to sit some, watch some guy spend hours working in the equivalent of a, a you know, a dinosaur slaughterhouse. 
The, the taming pins are easy. You can use a bird mount, fly them in, drop them into like a, a bricked out area, and this, you know, that's it. Man, we went to, we went, we had like 12, we're up to 40, and that's because some of it got stolen. And I, and I totally definitely get that. I mean, it makes the game a lot easier than what it is. There's our other little shack over there. Let's see if there's any colocanths nearby in the water that we can get to, maybe. No, no colocanths. What level are you? 14. Yeah, we ain't gonna mess with you. Alrighty. Man, there's that Alpha Raptor, guys. It just keeps con coming toward me wherever I'm at on this little section. He's eventually going to find me, and he's going to kill me. And then we're going to be dead. If ever there is reason to build a taming building, that's it. Is the Alpha Raptor. Because that thing has just been the killjoy on most of everything we've done on this island recently. That and the Tyrannosaurus Rex we almost killed. Alright, so... Yeah, we still need a hundred... A hundred of the hide. Like he said, it will come and kill you, and then you will be dead. Yep, yep, exactly, Waffle. It will come over after me. It will kill me. I will be dead. It will it'll be really, really bad. I'll respawn at my bed, and I won't even remember anything that happened, but I'll have, I'll have scars from the memory. That's for certain. Hey, and here is the wonderful rain system. Um, took a while for it to realize that I was even sheltered. Alrighty. There's that wonderful well that keeps threatening to kill our boat every time we boat over here. So we're just going to have to deal with the, the rain environment. That guy, we're going to give a wide berth. So we're going to go back deep into the jungle, guys. Which means more of those wonderful, wonderful bugs. So we're going to get out our poking stick, because we might have to poke some things. I just love the lightning effect this game does. The, the artwork on this game is always awesome. Always awesome. And guys, uh, for those of you that are watching, welcome to the channel. My name is Mag Synchro, short for Magician Synchronous. Hello, human. I said in my mind, if Turtle is live in my dream come true. Hey, Sarah. Glad to see you there. Or Sasa, not Sarah. Sasa. Welcome to the channel. Always a pleasure to see people watching us play Ark. Or any other game. Also, you should consider doing Anunnaki. I have no clue what that is, man. <laughs> um, we are we are grossly underprepared for Ark in general. It's been a long time since we played. Uh, there's been some dinos added that we don't even recognize. Nothing in some of the more populated areas, but... Welcome back. Welcome back, yes. Alright, so let's... Um, let's just go politely kill some stuff if we can. And what kind of stone? So we can make a door frame. Oh, we were working on stone architecture, weren't we? Yeah, foundation and ceiling. Don't think we need the fencing. As a mod... Uh, 
Oh, nah, man. We uh, we don't usually do a lot of mods. Uh, again, that's that's one of the things that uh, Waffle, that when we stream this game and other games like it, we're trying to make sure it's as vanilla as possible. Because one of the things that we know is people like to see what they're playing or they like to know what they're getting into. And unfortunately, if you play a, a heavily modded version of this, while it is entertaining to watch, we find that people you know, wind up purchasing the games in question and get frustrated when they realize that they bought it, they installed it. Tame something, Predator. Um, we're, we're kind of on the, the way of getting nothing predatory at this moment. We're on the way of actually trying to get the hide required for a trike, and my gameplay skill isn't exactly where we want it to be. And plus, with only two, that's a total of two, uh, narcotic arrows, there's nothing that we're going to be able to get predatory in this game to to lay down and say, okay. Especially with these guys poisoning all of us. Uh. Well, we were hoping that these guys would drop a little hide, but they usually don't. All right. Here we go. Something nice to kill. That will get us some hide once he's dead. 12 hide. All right. We're still working on the hide guys. We need to get 140 hide. Use your hatchet for hide and chitin and stuff. Okay. Use your pick for me. All righty. Yeah, I forgot about using it for the Chitin. Oh, that was too many button clicks. See, that's the reason why we don't go after Predators. <laughs> uh, we, we we can barely tame these things. What's he want? He wants a Tinto Berry. Okay, we, we'll, 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 we'll see if we have a Tinto Berry. We do. Okay. We'll... Oh, sweet. We got it some moss chops. He's the first moss chops we've tamed in this game. He's level 34. Awesome. Sweet. I have no clue what to do with the moss chops. But, uh, I know we're going to put some berries on him because they eat berries. Congratulations, Gary, the moss chops. You get to roam around with me and hopefully not get killed. What pray tell is that thing all the way over there? Is that a, a, a Fiamia? Yeah, it's Fiamia. Okay. Oh, here's another Moss Chops. What does he want? What do you want? Rare Flower. Yeah, you die. Boy, those things have some hit points in half. And they are plenty of hide. And I don't know if you guys eat meat or not, so we're going to put this in there just in case. Well, that's awesome. I wonder if they get better at uh, getting hide off them, too. All right. What we got here? A blueprint. We'll take the blueprint. And... The uh, rest of it we'll just drop. Hey, Ben Williams. All right, we'll take care of what Moffles. Thanks for hanging out with us. Welcome, Ben, to the channel. My name is Mag Synchro. There's Gary. That's the guy that wants to headbutt us. I think Gary would die if he got headbutted. So, 
But welcome, Ben. My name is Mag Sinker. We're playing some ARK Survival Evolved. It's a pretty good game. We managed to get a Moth Chops, which was really surprising. I wasn't expecting to give him a Tinto Berry and him just willingly tame like that. I, I think they're omnivores. I could be wrong, though. But we are going up here. We're, we're just killing some things to get some hide. Our, our goal for this stream is we want to get to 140 hide so we can get the Triceratops Saddle. We're at 83, so we only need 60 more to get there. So we're well on our way to it, guys. Well on our way. And there's Gary plodding around. Boy, Gary's got some soft footfalls. I had to stop and look back there to see him. Couple of Triceratops. Guys are doing really good around here, it looks like. There's kind of a path. We'll sort of take it to see what we come up to. Now, I do know around here is actually a Tyrannosaurus spawn point. So we're kind of being a little wary because we know that thing will spawn over here and wreck us. In Elite Gary. And we don't want that really to happen because, you know, Gary's one of those things that He's just another dino to add to the collection. We're going to probably have to start building a, a dino pen on our island as well. Game Offline Fan. Hey, how's it going, Game Offline Fan? My name is Mag Synchro. Welcome to the channel, man. Playing some Ark Survival Evolved. We stream this stream for three hours every morning at 3 a.m. on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning. We actually go a little longer on Mondays. Where is he at? Where is he at? Gary? Gary? Is Gary hitting us? He killed the, the Morphodon. Alright. Good for us. We are... Real low on the hit points. And I don't see a corpse for us to loot. So rip on that too. Ugh. Can we make us a campfire while we're here? No, we need some thatch. That's easily fixed. We need to get to a thatch donation center real quick. And get that made up so we can craft us some food. And crafting us food gets us health, and health gets us a little bit more alive. Alright. A little bit of wood, a little bit of cooked meat to go after. We're going to eat our last steak for a bit. You already level up, Gary? Good job, Gary. Um, we'll give you some more weight. All right. Guess that's something else we can make. Maybe. Let's see. Can we, can we craft some bolas? What are we missing for bolas? Um, what are those? Boots. Do we have any boots? Oh, they're hide boots. Forget that. All right. Bola. We need stone and fiber. Get us a couple bit more raw meat and cooked meat. So the fiber we can get over here, as well as the stone. So that's that's kind of a win-win location here for what we're needing. Let's get all the fiber we can get here. The next pterodon we see, we'll actually just bolo it and then chop it up. Pike it to death from a from a helpless position. That's our best option at the moment. As we see lots of pterodons in the area. Alright, so 
Crafting Bola. Craft a mount. Oh, we can only make one? What are we missing? Oh, it takes three hide to make. We're missing some thatch and some fiber. I guess we'll just make the one. Uh, having it make require hide is really bad. If we can't get hide easily, it actually becomes a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alrighty. We got about six pieces of meat, which isn't too horrible. Depending upon what we come across, we should be okay. Just get some chitin off of this. It sounds like Gary probably killed or ate the corpses of some of the other things. Okay, what level are you, Triceratops? 40, also known as... Nope, we are we are not going to be eating the Triceratops. Alright, well, the copy made short work of... Hello, bye, Compy. Level oh, thirty-seven. I don't think we'll kill that fast enough. Hmm. We're kind of looking forward to finding our path again. We went off the beaten path, we came up in here, and we have effectively lost our meat source that we made. Maybe it's just over this hill though. What level are you? At seven, we might be able to kill this thing. I don't know, we haven't tried killing one. Wow. Boy, they run pretty good. Gary, I hope you can kill those things. You've been poisoned, my stamina is decreasing. We might about we might we're possibly going to die doing this, guys. Ugh. Where's the drone at? Where's the flyer at? Oh. And we just lost the Fiomia. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, we're gonna get some chitin, so. Gary, you're all right. But if you're going to be hanging out with me, you're definitely going to have to definitely going to have to level up your health. We've definitely definitely lost our campfire. Hey, Mag, Gary did eat some stuff. He should have some items in his inventory. Okay. 
Yeah, we were hoping he'd eat some stuff, but so far he's uh he's opted not to. We were hoping he would actually, you know, kill some things and do some stuff, but he's see so far he's been very non kill things. Definitely non kill things. That looks like a dialo though. It could be a true on though. Uh stop. That's a Packy. Okay. We still have really bad like PTSD moments from a Pachysaurus we fought a long time ago. So we'll we'll let the Packy do whatever he wants. This on the other hand is is the reason we made the Bola. Okay. So we used one Bola. And we got, we required 10 hide, and we got uh, stuff back. So, I didn't see it drop a bag either. So, we're going to have to make another bolo then. Crafting BOL. We need thatch and fiber to make another bola. That may not always be the yield that we get, though. So,. Level 5 Parasaur definitely died quick. Oh, and they produce a pretty decent amount of hide. We might be at the hide quota we had. We're going to check. At 140. On the nose, on the nose. So that's actually pretty good for us guys. We're almost on a level up, so all in all, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, Gary and Foxy, welcome to the channel. Welcome back, rather. I looked at the, the capture boat, and I wasn't really able to figure out how it worked for an ICFI. But, oh wow. That, that's the reason why we don't go hunting usually, guys. We're just bad at it. Look at him run away. There we go. Took three arrows instead of two. We're okay with that. And there's some more hide. Sweet. We are we're getting really good on the hide. Our inventory is pretty good. Oh, there's some stuff that we can easily kill. Here's a moss chomps. What do you want? Raw prime meat. Yeah, no raw prime meat. I think we might have lost that moss chomps wherever he went off to. Gary, I, I kind of wish you would be a bit more aggressive, buddy. That's all right, though. That's all right. There he is. There he is. Well, our pike is getting a work out here. Level up. We are absolutely good with the level up. Put a dodo on a spit there. Okay. All right. So Gary, get you some hit points. Me, I'm gonna get me some hit points. Also, I'm up to 150. Way good for us. There's Skull Island. Or there's a, a blue patch. I think we may be closer to where we have. Hey, hi, ruler. How's it going, man? All right, these things take about two to three arrows, depending upon their level. Oh, four. He may, he may even take one. Nope, he's going to take two. And it helps if I shoot him with the second one, I guess. 
Why did you do that to the bird? Because we are getting hide. We're farming hide. We need all the hide we can muster. And it's better than wasting an arrow on a dodo. Eventually, we'll be taming dodos to start getting eggs off of them for kibble. But right now, killing them just gets us the best experience possible. Hey, Polsky! Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Alrighty, and... There's some moss chops. Oh, there's... Oh, that pterodon just touched down and ran off. Oh, well. I, I don't know if we get enough range on the spear to kill a turtle. I, I don't know, but we're going to see if we can get a small enough turtle to kind of chance it. Level 28, definitely not small enough. If you had tamed the pterodon, he could have helped protect you. Um, You get the ichthy into the pen and wall it off once it's in, once trap taming is easier. Well, the, the ichthy, though, so the ichthy is aquatic, and the taming boats that I saw all were above ground. I didn't see any underwater taming boats. Which is why I'm confused. I mean, I could build a pin underwater and just, you know, wait for it to get in there and close the, the gate behind it. I, I That much I understand. That's kind of, you know, common arc 101. Wait for our eyeballs to wash out. There we go. Wow. That, oh, that was level 39. That took a bit. Okay. That, that thing took a bit. Alright, so... the dodo we killed we're gonna do a real quick check for hide because we we got pretty good roll here for hide oh wow okay we, we definitely got all the hide we're needing for now I, I would think okay so now we just need to find our boat and then go back to our base and we can make our track saddle and get some berries um, it'd be really good if we could find our base before nightfall but I doubt we're gonna be able to be that lucky uh, it is currently, yeah, it's like 6.30. Nightfall happens in about half an hour. So we may be back to the sparkler method for a bit. And we know we saw some, some dilos over here. Two of them, actually. Gary, you just don't fight back at all, do you, man? All right, Gary.
Jiggity, what I told you I'm still working on that tune. Uh, that's that's actually not surprising. Giggity, I mean, the way music works, man, it takes a while. Music's not just one thing you force. You kind of, you have to create it. You have to birth any kind of artwork like that. All right, and that is a pego. Hey, Crimson, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you today, Crimson Shadow. We're on our way to find our island. And chop up some dodos on the way, too. Look at this guy. He, he's just... He's just upset with us. Oh, we're starving. All right. Huh. Copying down a tune you made on Midmate to Magic. Yeah, yeah. Good news is you're close. Oh, that's good. Being close is good. Close to something that you are you're happy with. That's important. That's very important. Beginning to think I know roughly where I'm at on the island, so we're we're nowhere near where we want to be. Rip Dodo Bird, yes. Oh yeah. But even though we've you know killed a couple Dodo Birds, this Moss Chomps is uh, keep keeping up with us pretty good. Keeping up with us pretty good. All right, let's see here. Let's give him another stack of meat because I think he's a meat eater. And Gary right now is just mainly a prehistoric distraction. I'm pretty certain he doesn't do any kind of combat. He may be a corpse cleaner. I mean, he upgrades what the corpse quality of meat is. Uh, we thought we might be able to get him, but no, we didn't. Oh, well. Who knew lizards? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, our, our inventory is running low on everything right now. So we definitely want to do what we can. Uh, here's a wild female. It was a medjo berry. Do we have any medjos on us? We usually keep some. All right. All right. Gary? Hey. Uh, wait. They're both female. Okay. Well, well then. Uh, didn't look that up. Uh, modify harvest options. Change name. All right. You're now Geraldine. Sorry about that, Gary. Got that fog rolling in. Man, this guy's taking a few, few, few hits. Whoa, that guy is just not in a good spot. <laughs> Look at that. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's get over here, Gary. Gary and Geraldine, you guys come over here. We're going to watch this thing mess with the wrong turtles. Wow. Mess with the wrong turtles. My goodness.
There's a female dodo. Hmm. Do not poke the the mini cam gamera. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see here. All right. So we will put some we'll put a some berries over there. Geraldine, um, I'm not 100% sure what you eat. We're, we're presuming, well, you just ate some meat, it looks like. So we'll take, well, no, we just moved the stack over is all we did. All right. We'll give you a stack of meat. All right. Dodo is... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll call it a little bit because we've been watching a lot of the crown. I had no other reason than that, guys. I'll give you some Tinto. We'll, we'll give you some Medjo. You're really happy. I mean, you're doing your little happy dance. Good for you. Good for you. You got, you got, uh, you have eaten a lot of berries. Oh my goodness. Well, but you are a berry eater. That's for certain. Um, well, let's hope that you're a meat eater, because we're not 100% sure. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 4. <laughs> that could be an interesting video game. It would be a violent video game, but it'd be interesting. All right, so now, here we are with all of these. It's Mel. It's Mel Dodo. We, we want egg layers. Because we're going to build us a dodo pin, we're going to start laying some eggs, we're going to start growing some carrots, we're going to hope for the best. But first, we got to get to like the southwest corner of the island so we can, you know, get home. Okay. We should be able to survive the travel path we're making right now. Oh, wow. I've never played that version. Uh, Gram of Mayo. Okay. Um, yeah, in this particular instance, it absolutely is okay, Foxy. Uh, since we actually requested that information and you went to the trouble of researching it, we have no problem with that. Um, you know, there's, you know, that's, that's the, and I appreciate you following up with, since you're unsure, and you were aware that it could have been something that was frowned upon that you wanted to know if it was okay. See, that's that's all we look for in this channel. You know, we treat everybody with respect. And so we really appreciate that. Thank you, Foxy, for that. That was that was actually really refreshing. I really appreciate that. And I'll have to go take a look at that particular person and see what they got going on. I know what I'm doing today at 6 when we're done streaming, so... Okay. Um, sure, we'll take a fine Ingram. That will save us some time in the future. Turns out Giant Blue Pillar is 23rd century hot dog stand. Uh, it could be. It could be. Alright, so... Okay. Onward and outward, guys. We're going to get to our boat. We're going to get back to our base. And then we're going to ride on a Triceratops for a while and eat all the berry bushes we can. Some things you don't get smaller and more advanced as years go on. Some don't. Some don't. And the food industry is one of those that's, interestingly enough, um, the, the more time advances, the larger food establishments get. Unless they're, you know, fast food restaurants. These days, fast food restaurants are all about trying to shrink what the customers get into. Uh, I think it's like uh, McDonald's and Little Caesars are both in the process of reducing the human interaction aspect of their, their businesses. Um, Gamer4206, it is available on Xbox One. I'm playing it on PC. 
I can't speak to if it's good on Xbox One or PS4. It's on both of them. It's a $60 game. Um, it used to be 30 bucks before it went out of early access. I don't know if it was available on Xbox and PS4 while it was early access, but I got mine 50% off of the early access price. But, you know, I could, I could see myself paying 30 or 40 bucks for it easily. I have put so many hours into it. Um, actually, this is a flare with an illusion on it, Giggity. So it's actually a it's actually a cloth kerosene torch, which has been made to look like a Fourth of July sparkler, because it was some sort of uh, like a reward for being a member of the, the the community for so long or something like that. I just use it because it's a lot better on the sound effects than the torch. The torch actually makes like a crackling fire noise, and that gets annoying after a while. I just realized somewhere out there is the Alpha Raptor, and we're going to wind up walking nearby it. This is no bueno. Oh, no, 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 no. My raw meat, Pego. There we go. Killed the Pego. Get our meat back. Awesome. Oh, yeah, it's a torch. Where's the... Oh, no. No Gatling gun on wings. Not in this one. Ah, oh, Not good. Not good. Alright, guys. Here we go. Treat on death, maybe? Oh... Look at the pretty water effects while we're unconscious. That's all we can do right now is look at the pretty water effects while we're unconscious. Uh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. Raptor killed us. Oh. Raptor killed us. Oh, that's not even good. We were all the way over there. Oh, our, our bed's gone. Oh. Oh, wow. That's right. The Tyrannosaurus ate our secondary base. Oh. Okay. Well, that's rather horrible. Okay. And this is the one mod we have, guys. I mean, we have it strictly from a performance standpoint. Um, and by performance, I mean, like, the ability for us to get back in the game. So you guys don't have to wait forever for us to get back in the game. All right. We are dead. We are DED dead. But we will survive. All right. So we need to drop all the cosmetic stuff. Yes, they are. Um, oh, we don't need planes, Giggity. Uh, planes would be neat, don't get me wrong. But we got flying dinosaurs that we can tame and ride on. So why... Uh, most of the things that would actually be robotic, in essence, um, are, are actually fulfilled by a dinosaur doing its duty. i repair that, so... And that's the one mod we have, guys. And if you're going to play this game and you're, and you're definitely new to the genre or the games in general, we cannot recommend enough the Death Assistance mod. It is by far the, the best mod that we come across for being a new player or a really unskilled player at this. And it's because of, of that that things really kind of click at times for us. Because that Assistance mod basically just saved us hours of time. 
Um, there's actually uh, dolphins that work like submarines. And you get a scuba tank to help you breathe underwater indefinitely. All right, so there's all the recipes that we've got. Okay, so next. Crafting, trike saddle, we need some wood. So grab that. Go to the inventory, clear that out. Put the wood back. You were sort of close. Yeah, it, it was close, man. You were you're absolutely correct. You were you were nearby on on stumbling on that one. Looks like this game would be best played on PC for sure. Um, yeah, it's it is definitely one of those games that you know it's available on console, but the graphics, the expandability, the way the game plays out, the way that the game has some good stuff going on for it, um, I I feel like it's better served on PC. That's not to say that you can't play it on console, because I know a lot of people, uh, one of the actual supported uh, streamers on our channel, Laura, uh, she plays this on PS4, and she has a great time playing it. But she has mentioned that the, the mod manage it could be a lot better than what it is. And she's mentioned that there are a few other things that she'd like to see different, but it definitely helps. Hey, Hype! Guys, if you don't know Hype YTG or Hype YouTube Gaming, um, he is actually one of the channels that we like to hang out with. Um, he's the gentleman who owns the, the private server um, available for his community. If you want to check his stuff out, you absolutely can. Uh, one thing that we do mention when any of our friends come up that they uh, stream in not as family friendly as other members of the community are used to, we want to point out that they're not a family friendly channel. Um, yeah, you're almost never up, man. Um, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I stream ARC on the weekends. This is my solo gameplay, and it's it's gone pretty bad. It's gone pretty bad. We, we've managed to die, like, a lot so far. Put that boat up here. All right, and we're gonna options, hide cell, I change name to uh, True Dawn Hunter, because that was why we had to get that second boat out. Yeah, oh yeah. Death is one of those things though that is definitely not a, a permanent thing in this game. Thanks to respawns and the wonderful mod that is the death assistance mod. Uh, without that, I, I don't think I could really play this game anywhere as much. Because I, I die so, so often. Alright, we need to repair as much stuff as we can. I think we should be able to repair everything. Get that there, get that there. And we want to repair this, and this, and this. Um, I don't know if we've reached the ceiling limit, but it's pretty high. Uh, since this is an artificial environment in the game that the aliens have, have built per the story, I... Oh, we need more flint for that. Okay, I ain't too worried about that then. Let's go over to the meat that we're cooking. All right, off to all right. Way cool. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, hype. And yeah, guys, if you ever want to check his stuff out, it's it's absolutely awesome to go and check him out. Um, hype does real good stuff. He, he's one of the guys that I've known on YouTube the longest. Actually, I think you are the streamer I've known on YouTube the longest. Hype to be to be totally honest, man. Um. So, way awesome. Yeah, he's one of the guys that got me interested in streaming in the first place. He, the, the cool guy, not the other guy. And, uh, yeah, absolutely go hit, take, sh take a look at his stuff, because his stuff's really awesome. All right, so let's dump some raw meat in here. I'm cold. I don't care about being cold. Uh, I don't play Breath of the Wild as often. It, I've, I 100%ed it. And there's, I mean, 
100% everything did. And when you do a game to that extent, um, unless there's new content that comes out, the, the odds of wanting to play through a storyline-driven game like that really diminish, unfortunately. It's still by far my favorite game on the Nintendo Switch. It's beautifully done. I, I, I think it's one of the, if not the best game um, on the Switch, period. Uh, what do we have in this one? Do we have just berries in this one? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the eggs out. And we'll move, and the mushrooms, move them over there. Explains why I wasn't seeing berries, but not that it helps. Okay. Eventually we'll get us a... A refrigerator, which will help a lot of this too. Alright, craft all the spark powder we can make into gunpowder. Oh, we need to put that thatch away. Do do, drop that thatch off, drop that thatch off. You don't care about being cold, nah. Well, in this game, it, whoa, that was that was some weird graphics going on, guys. Specimen implant. Okay, we're we're good with that. We don't care about the specimen implant. All righty. Where are you at, Sarah? There's Sarah. Guys, we're about to get on Sarah and get all of the possible berries we can get on her. All right, here we go. And now the narcotic production that's been stymied for a while is about to be totally opposite. Yeah, uh, and that's that's the you know that's the drawback of doing the hundred percent completions. And right now we're we played um, Wind Waker the same way. And not only that, on Wind Waker we did the new game plus, so we got the we got the advantage of it because we had some stuff we didn't get finished in the first game. But we got all, um, however hundred many pictures there are in the game, of all the NPCs, all the characters, all the hidden pictures. On Breath of the Wild, we got the compendium finished. Um, or did we? We we may have to go buy up the compendium because I don't think we got the compendium finished. I have to check that after the stream to see if we finished that or not. Because when the DLC 2 came out, there was a new compendium that came out. I mean, look at this, guys. We're getting so many narc berries. And it's just because we got this one little triceratops. And Sarah is... She's not big level. She's level 11. She's just been here since we tamed her, which was a couple streams ago on this series. And once we're high enough to saddle up Shark Killer, we can do this like with one tail swap, which is which is insane to think about. So many berries. Oh yeah, giggity. I mean, look at this. 150 narcotic berries already. So she's definitely earning her weight in berries, to say the very least. She should be leveling up soon also. It's one of the reasons why we've been increasing her speed and her movement and her weight capacity. Now, one thing to kind of make mention of, though, if you'll notice, she's not gathering any fiber. So, all it is is berries and seeds. So, and look, rock carrot seeds still rare. I mean, we only got five of them right now. But I'm pretty confident that after we're done with this, we'll be able to start making the crystal uh, greenhouse panels that we need. And start building us a greenhouse. And this is so much easier so much easier. 
Oh, uh, she's she's out of the energy. We're gonna have to give her a minute. If you'll notice, guys, in the upper right hand corner, she's got the same stuff that I got stat wise, and they're mirrored in the the stats. She's got energy, she's got a food tank, she's got a water tank. Well, she doesn't have a water tank, that'd be far too much. Alright, so Sarah's done with this side of the island. Pretty good amount. We gotta let her rest up a little bit. And I don't know what direction we're facing right now. Actually, I do. That should be... That's northeast. Because we're facing the, the blue arc, which is on that island there. So, on the southeast side of our island is probably where we're going to put our greenhouse when it comes time to put the greenhouse up. Can we repair this? We cannot. We need everything. Um, yeah, Tsunami would be devastating. Uh, you're absolutely correct on that, Giggity. Thankfully, this particular game is not that realistic. It gets close. Its realism does get a little close at times. But it does have a limit, thankfully. Oh, she's just about full. Yeah, her weight, 328, and you have to understand, this is her capacity carrying weight. Um, when we get off the dinosaur, her weight will still be the same. Well, actually, no, it didn't. Huh. Maybe they finally got that corrected. Okay, so we're just going to take all that. We're encumbered. What weighs so much? Why, funny you should ask that, Mag. It appears that all of the berries weigh that much. Oh, it ain't that much. It ain't that much. Oh, my goodness. Um, that's 10 pounds. We'll just put that on her for a bit. That's 10 pounds. We'll just put that on her for a bit. And that's 7 pounds. Where's our weight at? Can we move? We can kind of move. All right. Come on, Sarah. Let's uh, get back to you. Never bothered keeping many stem berries. Have not found that much use for stimulants. Um, there's a couple uses. Um... There's the Fiomia uh, animal. It actually, when you feed it a stemberry, it will produce um, materials for using the toilet, which is uh, definitely a, kind of a need. All right, so Sarah, stay. But I don't put it in the, the trough for the animals because if they eat it, they will dehydrate. Look at all of that beautiful berry kept. All right. Now that we got Sarah on board with that, I don't think we're going to have a problem with there. Now let's go ahead and pet Buffy. We haven't pet Buffy yet. Oh. We are upping our health because we need to. And we're grabbing, well, we will grab the egg. And we'll grab that, which is definitely not an egg. Silver. Our awesome Argentavius, who the other week killed so many things. Oh, we we didn't take all the things off of Argentavius. Wow. That's unfortunate. We have been letting some important stuff spoil on her. All right, so... No one else has deposited anything on the ground that we can see. All right... So 
So here is some of that. Switch out for that. That bin's empty. That bin's empty. All right. Grab all the meat out of there. It's still cooking away. Just about done. Just about done. Get some of that raw meat because we know what we're about to do with that. Some of this spoiled meat. And we're going to drop those there in a stack of that. And we're going to make all the narcotics we can out of that. And we're going to do the same thing here. All the narcotics with that. Narcotics take so many materials. It's just unfortunate sometimes. Alrighty. Uh, another thing that stemberries are good for is making stimulant, um, which requires spark powder. I... Spark powder is not that hard to make. We can't make it on our island anymore, though. Unfortunately, we, we start crafting on this island, and when you craft things on a... Whoops, we got to get that. We got to get those arrows back. When you start crafting on your, your property, it stops the game from spawning certain things on your property. Do we have a thatch wall? We have some thatch walls. Good. All right. Level ups of... Wow, there we go, guys. There's a the level up. So we're going to go wait up one. We're going to go to Ingrams. We're going to go to Greenhouse. There's the wall. And there's the ceiling. So we can start making a greenhouse now. And that's that's important for us to be able to do. Okay, so in order to do that though, we're going to actually let's see Ingram's green. Now we need the the door eventually. All right, let's see if there's anything else in these 40s that we're missing. Because we just got here and kind of just jumped. Uh, Pariser, we don't care about. The metal pipes. Can refill containers in here? No, we're not too worried about that. Is there a canteen? That's at 54, so we're good there. All right. And look at that. We're still just upping our experience because these are still going away. Um, yep, 14 of those. All right. We got plenty of spark powder here, so I think we can make all the stimulant possible. Consumables, drugs, stimulant takes a 1 for 5 ratio. So we can absolutely craft all of that possible, which will keep us experience going. The seeds we can put away. These berries we can just dump in the, the berry bin, or actually the the other smoker could ha hold that. The thing is, even though we have all these berries, you got to remember they're they're all every berry expires about what is it? I think two hours in the bin. So eventually these berries will deplete. Eventually. Uh, let's see here, just in case we. All right, we hit that on the nose. Looks like we're not quite there on this. Consumables, drugs, craft the last one of those. And we're on our way to getting everything made that we want to get made. All right. So now we have 70 narcotics, which is really, really good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's get all the spoiled meat out of here. Uh, we're okay with a, a berry sticking around. We are okay, but we're not going to let it stay that way. One piece of spark powder left. Uh, we'll just put that in the box. Okay. That's got 66 spark powder. That's fine. These stem berries will pack in there. Those berries will pack in there. One narc berry, might as well. OK. 
Okay, 94 spark powder, good. All right, so let's go over here, grab the cooked meat, turn off the fire. We'll just leave that there for so we can realize it later. All right. We, we kind of want to keep these where they're at. All right. So they take a lot of crystal. If you guys look at this, oh, that's a lot of crystal. But it's where we're at. It takes a lot of crystal, a lot of metal. So we are probably going to get on our pterodon and fly to where we need to fly to. Um, did we not get our pike back when we repaired it? Did we not repair our pike? Oh, we kept the pike on the trike. Okay. That's like a Dr. Seuss kind of nice rhyme. What is that? It's a pike on a trike. All right. Oh, and we got you leveled up again. We're going to level up your move, your weight because we definitely like the carry weight. Okay, so we got some meat on us. Lots of crystal. Uh, now I'm curious, what type of crystal? Uh, it never goes and says, actually. It just says crystal. It's a rare crafting material in this game. A strange crystal material. So it's whatever the aliens decided to stick with. Uh, put that there, that there. We have plenty of arrows-ish. Uh, I much would rather have plenty of arrows. So we'll stick away from the, the ish stuff if we can. All right, we need more thatch. So we're going crystal and metal hunting. We have plenty of this here. Besides, if it turned out to be silicon dioxide, the most common material on Earth, uh, it could be. I don't, I don't know. It, it it could be rare here on the island, though. You have to keep in mind this is a, an alien biome. So what you and I think of as common and rare doesn't really make sense here. Um, we're going to craft. We're going to craft all of them, uh, since we now can make narcotics fairly easily. Yeah, it is sand. All right. All right, so we got meat. We got our materials. We're going to have enough things to shoot, enough things to kill. We don't need to be carrying a spoiled piece of meat with us. We just... Well, we try to drop it, we... Why do we drop? Well, it looks like we tried to drop it, but the inventory updated, so we're okay. All right, drop. There we go. Drop the slingshot because we don't need the slingshot. Get us out a stack of raw meat because we're about to get on our pterodactyl. We're good there. We're good there. All right. Not bait. Where are you at, buddy? Where are you at level-wise? Oh. He can't carry hardly anything, guys. Oh, gross. Hmm. Let's... Meat. Slingshot. Good. And when I made this storage bin back there, I knew this was going to become a problem eventually. There we go. Put the thatch away. Put the berries away. Or the seeds, rather, not the berries. Alright, so what's my current weight at? My weight's at 65 pounds. When I get on him, his weight, so we, we we have enough 
we have enough to where we can actually do some crystal farming, so that's not bad. All right. Oh yeah, there is a slingshot, Giggity. There is absolutely a slingshot. Huh, there's our boat. There's our boat. And that's probably what we're going to do, because our boat actually is one of those things that has storage built into it. So we're going to fly to where these crystals are. We're going to farm some crystals. Put most of your arrows away as they are heavy. Um, I'm a horrible shot, so I, I understand that they're heavy. But we're, we're probably going to keep them with us. All right, so that's 10, 14. And they're, they're heavy, but it's only, only like 30 pounds. I'm expecting to get killed when we go for the crystal. Uh, it's, just, it's just the fact of life that we suffer through. I don't think we need the spear, though. So we can put that away. Because we can use these for melee. I don't know. That's 10 pounds. That's a stack of arrows or a stack of there. Uh, yeah, I, I know, Foxy. It's, you know, I I have I have died so many times in Ark. I just expect it to happen. Well, you know, that's the way they kind of have the game laid out, Giggity, is you are, you're good at crafting things. It's just you're not good at convincing aliens that you're intelligent. That's where the problem lies. It looks safe, which means it's probably not. Ooh, a water jar. Okay. Oh, Foxy, are, are you making a funny? Are you are you saying we all expect me to die? Or are you saying we all expect to die in Ark? Uh, I wouldn't say that, Giggity. The, the aliens are pretty intelligent in this particular game. They're the ones who made all the tech, so... But you definitely can't call them dumb. I had to pause my... My life for a second. I I heard the dodo and I was like, well, we could we could go kill the dodo, but we're not long, we're not needing the, the hide anymore. We got a pretty good amount of hide, which is a good thing because if we if the pterodon dies, if the pterodon dies, then we have a, a huge problem. All right, so. So this is the way the crystal looks like. And just a second here where we show that off. All right. And so we're going to be harvesting as much crystal as we can hold and as much metal as we can hold. We're dropping all the stone. Uh, most of the rock formations don't usually look like they were man-made, so nature is what nature is. That's not a metal one. This is a metal one. I'm always nervous farming stuff over here because the one time I played a, a whole lot over here, I had a Thresosaurus on the other side, like, I was farming the metal and pillar in, all of a sudden, here's the threads, and it's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I, uh, not doing that good, thank you for asking. <laughs> all right, uh, drop the stone. 
We're already up to 117. Uh, st oh, crystals a pound each. I don't know if not bait's going to be writable or not. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It could be quartz. It could be quartz, Giggity. I, I do not know what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not beta swimming along. So, we survived our encounter with the bug kind. Well, hmm. Oh yeah, giant termites, absolutely. I don't think you can do that to metal. No, I didn't think so, okay. Oh, there's an alpha raptor. So we can't pl fly, there's a moss chops, so we're not too worried about that. It's running that we are slightly concerned with, because moss chops run away only from carnivores. Oh yeah, that, that's, you know, the, the bird needs some training. That, that's absolutely sure. Well, okay, what is that? Alright, so we're going to have to get off the bird, tell the bird to follow, and just venture through, guys. And we know we have another boat over here, so we're good with the boat. And somewhere we have our buddies Gary and Geraldine and our Dodo. The wing curled up like that. Science, uh, kinda. Let's see if there's any crystal over here that we can get a hold of, since we're having the hoof it anyways. The pterodon having it out and about like this might even make it safer for us a bit. There's some more crystal. And you know, I just think in Turtle Club, I know where we can get a lot of crystal at. And we can do pretty well over there, too. 
with just a spear. I think we're finally going to go to Death Island, guys. Or Skull Island. I, I call it Death Island because I usually die when I try to go over there. But I think we're I think we're at a point where we can finally try try heading that way. All right, so while we're here, break down this metal. Ha! <laughs> really need a paraglider. Well, we kind of have a living paraglider. It's not it's not its fault that it's got a really heavy human that drives a white on it. All right, not bait. Come over here a second, buddy. All right, we're going to set you down for a second. Um, put the crystals on you. And then get off, all right. Uh, you know, I think a hang glider. We, we can make parachutes in this game. They kind of work like paragliders. I don't think we need sticks and, and uh, leaves. I think it'd be just built out of other uh, materials like you know, hide and whatnot. All right, that's that's a uh, one of those horrible bird things that fly. They're basically pegomastics with wings. If we can get away with not dealing with one of those, it'd be great. Uh, SR seventy one hit out of a rock in a bottle of water. MacGyver's a MacGyver's a pretty fun show, man. It, it gets a lot of bad rap because of the science being just horrible in it. But you have to understand, right? No movie producer, TV producer is going to go, you know what we want to do? We want to teach the American people how to make napalm out of bleach and um, pop rocks. You know, <laughs> that's just not the best way to go about it. I mean, you have to remember the American public are still the same people that do all sorts of weird things. Like the, the Tide Pod Challenge, that's just... I, I can't wrap my head around that one. It's it's just weird. A toaster made out of a coconut. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the professor from Gilligan's Island. That's another you know clear indication of TV just getting it really weird. The SS don't eat me too, guys. All right. We're gonna drop all of our rocks in our metal. Get our crystal out of here. Put the crystal in there too. All right. Um, why did that go to that? I don't know. That's weird. It shouldn't have went to automatic scope, but it did. And now we got two boats. Go us. Go us, Turtle Club. People eating laundry pods and you're over here accidentally impelling yourself with weapon building. But that's different, Giggity. I mean, the, the fact that you've shot yourself with an arrow and did a number of other things isn't because you did something that's clearly not the way it's meant to be used. I mean, people have been eating Tide Pods for the sake of eating Tide Pods, which is very unusual, in my opinion. All right, we're going to ride him. All right, so... A few things. 
Let's let's go ahead and make us a storage bin here. We need fiber, thatch, and wood. Boom. So fiber, thatch, wood. We clearly didn't tell him to wait. Go big or go home, I say sometimes, guys. So we, we, we uh... Hopefully that's not too big to sit outside on our stoop. But we'll find out. All right, here we go. And we're going to put those there. Those there. We need to figure out what we need to repair this with. Flintstone and wood. All right. Not bait. Take a rest, buddy. We'll keep the chitin on you. Keep our tools on us. All right. We're about to go to a very hot island, so we don't need all the protective gear. We don't need the ammo. Where are we at weight-wise? We're at 21 stone, so... And he is at 26, and with our weight combined... We're at 47, so we can get 100 stone worth of stuff. So we're going to outsmart this well, finally. We're going to fly up to the top of this mountain. Um, you know, Giggity, you'd be surprised, man. I made a, a lot of rubber band guns growing up. And they usually had some form to do with popsicle sticks. They usually involved popsicle sticks and a number of other things that probably shouldn't be stuck together for weaponizing. What is that animal? Uh, typical. This is a pterodon. It is the earliest flying mount you can tame in this particular game. Alright, we need... I think we need stone for that, right? Yep. Okay, now we can repair our torch. Well, detour's over. And we can drop all of this material that we don't want to keep on us because we're trying to go get obsidian and crystal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Rubber bands are great. Rubber band guns are good too. And they're, uh, you know, for the most part, if you start thinking about them as weapons, they're, they're kind of deadly. But if you think about them as just rubber bands, they're perfectly harmless. Yeah, the, the pickaxe to chop the tree is because of the... Uh, because of the material we get off of it. We want the thatch for what we were actually repairing there. And so the, the thatch is what's used. I just hope... Look at that well, guys. Look at that thing. That That is what's eaten our boat. That's what ate the SS Don't Eat Me. That's what ate the unnamed boat. I'm pretty sure these things don't wind up eating birds that fly too close to the water, so we should be all right. Use Dremel to chop a... Yeah, Dremels are pretty good tools too. Alright, oddly enough, Stepsister is afraid of wells. Well, wells are pretty uh, pretty frightening stuff. I mean, if you think about it, they can capsize a boat. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about them. We know a lot about them. 
uh, you know, as far as, you know, compared to just things in general, that when you think about what we're finding out almost on a, a weekly or a daily basis about the well, we still don't know hardly anything about them. Which makes them very, very difficult to, to figure out. Okay, that wasn't good. All right, so there is, oh, there's another, is that, nope, that's already, already recruited, okay. So where are we at here? 16 pounds, which is still fine. As far as we can tell, the blue whale is the largest animal that has existed on the planet. You know, um, they're, they are pretty, pretty impressive sized creatures. We're, we're doing pretty good so far, Total Club, Turtle Club, it's. We're definitely in the warm area. I mean, we, we know where, I mean, we're near lava. Um, oh, okay. Good bait. We're definitely here for the crystal primarily. So we're going to harvest all the crystal we can first off of both the upstairs and the downstairs part of this. If you guys look up there, there's a, there's absolutely an upper level here. I've not seen, but I heard it is now a shark that can jump and knock you off. It's actually a well um, that I know of. I don't know about the shark. I haven't seen. Now, the shark might be on Aberration because they've added some new dinos on Aberration. And I've not played on that. It sounds kind of cool. I mean, it's about a spaceship that's crashed and you wind up uh, spawning on it. So as far as, you know, expansion kind of content goes for this game, there's just so much of it. And that's just them creating more and more. What is that? That's just metal. Okay. All right. So back on you. Not bait. Fill you up with a bit more crystal. Drop the stone. All right. So now we're going to... We're going to ascend and hope for the best. And the, oh, actually, we need to get some water before we do that. All right, this is going to be, we should be okay right here, I think. Eat some meat. All right. Now we're going to start our ascent. And we're just going to fly up. Now the thing with flying mounts that kind of makes them a bit dangerous to use, if you're not used to them, is their stamina meter. It's a lightning bolt. When it gets to zero, the flying mount will start to careen down. They won't fall. It won't be a dead fall. But your ability to steer, your ability to move them around, your ability to basically keep yourself safe, uh, pretty much disappears. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you know that cross breeze, giggity. You get a good, you get a good cross breeze going on, and you, you'd be surprised what you can find out as far as cold goes. Here's one of those bats. Not really fond of the bats. And that's one of the reasons why. Get off the bat. Let our pterodon do all the fighting. There we go. Good job, bait. Good job. And watch another YouTube play. Aberration looks inter. Yeah, you Aberration looks neat. Um, we we still have not yet even scratched the surface of all the expansions that are official for this game, all the new maps that are official for the game. So there there's a lot we can can do that we still haven't done.
I know over here. Okay, crystal. And we know we can hold about 60 more crystal. And that's kind of where we're going with it, guys. Is we we want to we want to get as much crystal as we can. That's a giant centipede. Those things are deadly. Now, as you think about your normal centipede, and you just make it, you know, prehistoric. That's kind of the way Ark plays, though. You basically think about your. Uh, normal anything and then make it prehistoric and then yeah all of a sudden it's deadly oh yeah Th this island is well known for its bugs it's a real good source of chitin if you get to the point to where you can kill them without having to worry about it His health is all the way up, which is good. We're going to drop the stone. We got plenty of food. We got plenty of water. We're going to go to the next little section over here. His, his weight's getting a little more gnarly. But, uh, I th again, I, I think we'll be fine. Oh, no. Come on, kill it, kill it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're about to die. Okay, so the good news is we just respawn at the bed. The bad news is everything that we just did <laughs> is pretty much for naught. Um, I'm cold, I know. I need to find my door that I leave open so I can get out. Go over here, recover our corpses. So there's the Argentavia saddle, which we're way far away from having. Um, the Pterodon may not survive. We need to get back in. We need to, we need to get, actually get over here and get our clothes on. Um, me. Head, toes, hands, knees, and shoulders. We're going to have to take a boat over to one of the islands so we can get us a pterodon. We're going to have to also make its a pterodon saddle. And that requires us to have a whole lot of chitin keratin. Um, smashingly more than we have. Ah, okay some fiber um we have the hide so that's not too horrible but the chitin keratin is pretty bad and there's a chance and i say chance and it's almost a, a certainty at this point that we are never going to see our pterodon again we're at 55. We need 20 more of the Chitin Keratin. We need 125 fiber, so a stack of 200 would absolutely be fine on that. And we need 230 hide. Considerable amount of resource to build this thing. And we're going to have to go actually hunt down a Pterodon and, and take care of it. Uh, while we're here, let's see what this takes. We need 180 metal. Uh, I think we may have the metal that we need finally. 
fixed crystal also, man. Okay, so here's the crystal. Here's some more metal. We can make one of these. All right, guys. So there is one silver lining to this dark, stormy cloud. And that is we can install us a toilet. Okay, so we're not going to install that toilet there, clearly. Because we need it to be, you know, not on the line that we water our plants with. Alright, so stone. The intake, right? Alright. Seven. And it won't snap to yet, so whoops. That was not what we meant to do. All right. So we need a riser. Vertical, no, uh, inclined. We need an inclined, and then we need some pipes for, uh, all right. Well, guys, that is a heck of a throne. Can I sit on it? I can sit on it. And try to remember what button uses the throne, guys. Um, add it says. Um, yep, add it is okay. So now we can actually use this to to to. When we gotta when we gotta go, we gotta go right. Because we're not ready to go though, so. So here we go, guys. We, we, we installed the throne. It's got its own little drainage. It's kind of weird the way it's built, but it is what it is. Alrighty, so now we just need to get back on the SS Don't Eat Me. And you know, Gorney, we can go ahead and increase his weight. I don't know, when, when is Gorney? 43. When we hit 43, we'll be able to get Gornia Saddle. So we'll be able to have alternate flight animals. That's, you know, something we didn't have, but we're going to have to have. All right. Oh, we just got... Did we just get moored? Yeah, the hide the the tide just came out. Oh, there we go. We were almost totally stuck. Almost. So we're gonna go to another pterodon. We're gonna trink it. We're going to feed it some meat. Do we have meat? I don't know if we do or not. Um, da da da. We have some cooked meat, which isn't horrible.
Oh, there's an epic in front of us, too. Uh, we might find some really good stuff in the epic. It'd be really good if we found, like, a, you know, a saddle for a pterodon. I'd be more than comfortable with that. And we were smarter than that, Turtle Club. Oh, the, the epic went away. That's unfortunate. Sounds like a turtle. Okay. Turtles are okay. All right, come on, turtle. Aren't you getting tired yet? Yep, now you're getting tired. Thank you. Get tired a little bit more. on no oh pretty sure we're dead turtle club level 37 true on that will definitely give us true death that's that's wow okay all right so yikes respawn at the bed Nice little ember glow. Let's get out here. And there's our personal grave. With the wonderful phrase, not again, always on it. Always, always pleasant, always happy. Not again. We know exactly what happened. We wound up fighting stuff in the dark again. And uh, that's what we get for fighting stuff in the dark. We should know better by now. We don't, but we should. Fortunately, we have the Trudon Hunter. Why did we build the Trudon Hunter? Because we got killed by a Trudon. Don't see a death notice, so your flyer should still be alive at this point. Um, maybe, maybe not. The, the thing with the death notices is if you're not on a server, if you're on an actual personal game, like what we're on here, then the way the death notices work is they are proximity-based. So we would have to get into the same chunk, is what they call it, as the uh, Death Mountains up. So our flyer should still be alive, potentially. Uh, we gave him plenty of meat to survive, and he can usually hold the zone. Flyers can hold their own really well against dogs and, um, well not dogs, but bats and um, other stuff. Uh, so we're we're not 100%, you know, out of the woods, but we're not really up the creek, as it were. Um, that's an impressive haul. I, I didn't want to load my inventory full of stuff, but that's actually really good. So we're going to go back to the True Dawn Hunter. Did we, did we get a storage bin or is that a compost bin? It's a compost bin. Of course it is. Um, uh, in this boat. Oh, we have the other boat. Psh, okay. Duh, mag. Okay. That's just don't eat meats over here. So we can put these pipes there, all those pipes. I mean, that is so much saved stone, and we're going to be building these things anyways. So I don't see any reason why not. Um, fiber, fiber is always good to carry around anyways. So somewhere on this island is a Trudon that tried to kill us and, and succeeded. 
so when it gets daylight, how long are we till daylight? Um, all right, we're at 416. There is a pterodon. And what does it take for us to make a boa? Some thatch. Hi, Lisa Peck. How are you today? Thanks for joining us on the channel. We're streaming mostly vanilla mark survival of mod um, or survival evolved. The only mod we have on our our game is the mod that allows us to recover our items upon death, and that's mainly because it makes the game a lot more interesting um, to people that want to watch it at home. Oh wow, we need ten thatch, and we got only nine off of that. Okay. That will work. We can now make a Cibola. We might be able to make two if we're lucky. We can make three, actually. What's it taking away that we don't want it to take the hides? We'll make two. Put that on the bar. We recently have died. Uh, we recently also had a, a Pterodon that we had, unfortunately, get potentially killed. So we're working on getting that restored. It's going to take two things for us to get that. One is we got a lot of chitin we got to get. About, I think, 20 is what we're looking at. Chitin or keratin. Now, uh, we went after a, a turtle, and the turtle was going to die, and then we had a trudon find us, which kind of made us, gave us a problem. Um, there's trudon hunter. There's the SS don't eat me. There is a pterodon that we're kind of chasing we're going to hopefully let him land. Oh, that's that's not a shout, Lisa. That's just a hello. Um, people look out, you know, want shout outs and stuff, and that's that's not a shout out. That's just us saying hi. That's the way we start conversations here. Oh, we missed because we have really bad aim with this thing when they're in the air. I know they can be hit out of the air, but... I just haven't been able to do that. Yeah, yeah, no worries. People say hi, you, you say you say hello back. You say hey, you say hey, you say sup, they say sup, you know. That's just the way civilization works. Not everybody gets that. Ah, welcome to the Turtle Club, Lisa. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello to us. All right, so far... We're looking for another turtle... Once it gets light out, lighter out, I guess I should say, because it is kind of light out now. We'll start going back in for some, some bugs. Uh, that looks like it's just a, a common, but we're okay with just a common. Right now we're just kind of doing what we can do and get away with. Turtles are slow enough that the spear can kill them in melee range without fear reprisal. I thought that was the case, but I wasn't 100% sure. So unlike Triceratops, these guys can absolutely be killed this way. And then we can get the chitin off of it, or the keratin. We're getting close already. We need just an just one more turtle will probably do it for us guys. You're a female dodo. I don't think we have any berries on us. 
Nope, no berries. Okay. This is your first time seeing this channel you like. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you enjoy yourself here. Uh, we, we do a lot of streams. Um, my name's Mag Synchro. That's the way we just wanted this particular stream title is Mag vs. Wild. My wife's name is Digrat. We both stream on this channel. I do family-friendly entertainment during the, the mornings. Uh, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, my wife Digrat streams a mature content Skyrim stream series. And we do a, a variety of things. Um, right now, in the mornings at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Saturday and at 9 on Fridays I stream Majora's Mask and on Sundays we stream uh, a variety of games based upon what the actual donations for the week have been or what the month or whatever we're currently tracking is uh, level 14 so I think we can just Tag him, just slowly walk backwards, and still kill him. And the really good thing about these turtles is as you're walking backwards, you can see the, the hit points coming up. Oh, oh no. Spoiled meat. Oh, so the Ichthy got Ichthyonis. Turtle's still pretty aggressive toward us. Told my cooked meat. Ah. All right, primitive pike. Oh, I dropped my weapon. It's because of the ichthy. Oh, we got two turtles on us because they. Progressively get there. All right. All right. Let's eat some food here for a second. Get our pike going. Where is this winged thief at? We're just going to have to get out of his range at this point. That's... Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, way cool. No worries there, Lisa. We... we uh. You know, we, 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 we like to think of it as friend, friend for all ages. All right, come down here, hit the ground. We uh going to get some hide and raw meat off this guy. All right. Go back to what we were doing. It's going to be a little tricky now because there's two turtles stacked up. All right, so we should hopefully get the keratin we need off of these guys. There's three, so we need just three more. So all we need is three more keratin. Um, there's the three more. Okay, so we should be able to make the pterodon saddle now. Oh no, we need one more. Oh, I can't math. I can't math. Okay, that happened. 36-year-old man that can't add and subtract simply. All right. All right, Turtle Club. Looks like we have another turtle over here that we could probably kite, just like we've been doing. Um, that's the female Dota. We, we want to keep that around, because hopefully we can tame that. You come over here. Uh, what the question? I don't know what you're talking about. Lisa, I'm sorry. I don't remember asking a question, but... Come on. What's interesting about the pike is the turtle 
aggressively comes after us. It's like it doesn't realize it's dying. Usually when you knock them down far enough on the hit points, they run away. Alright. There's the carrot we need. Sweet. So now we can make our saddle. Okay. So now we've got the saddle made. And we got some raw meat from all the turtles we killed too. So now it's just a question of finding us a pterodon to tame. And then take it back. Oh, level up. We will level up. Absolutely. Oh, for the math. Oh, okay. It was, it was simply... Uh, 68 minus 75, and I, I messed it up pretty good. Uh, all right, so stamina goes up to 150. We can go down to our latest level, which is 43, right? Greenhouse door frame, greenhouse door. Um, yeah, we have to learn reinforced wooden door. Okay, and now we're down to nine Ingram points, which isn't horrible. We're okay with that. Yeah, I was just trying to do math of how many pieces of a certain particular part we needed, and I did it wrong. I do that sometimes. There's another female dodo, so that's good. Somewhere on this island is uh, two moss chops and a dodo that mourned our, uh, our passing. <laughs> we like to think that. Lots of dodos. Oh, look at that, guys. That's 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 beautiful. That's a blueprint which will save us some ingram points when we get our our cocktail to let us forget stuff. And that's a full set of armor fully equipped. So we, we definitely enjoy that. All right, are those our moss chops? Are those our moss chops? No, we know that our our dudes are over here somewhere. Because we were getting close over here when we died. You will have that if you have the game. That's cool. It's a it's a pretty fun game. It definitely is one of those games that oh wow. Parasaur ran into the water. That's not the smartest thing for the Parasaur to do. So, somewhere around here is our, our dino, and it's not coming up. So maybe our moss chops are dead, which is unfortunate. Golden treasure. We are absolutely all about the golden treasure box. You just got to let it drop down for us. And over here, we had a base built at one point. We had a wooden base built at one point. It was right over here, and something has destroyed it. So that's unfortunate. I think that alpha that we were really deathly afraid of finally came over here. And did its work. I don't know how high a level we have to be for a golden chest. I like to think that we might be able to... French fries weren't made in France. They were made in Greece. Interesting. And what time is it in game time right now? It is currently 10 a.m., so that's not bad. Getting closer and closer to us getting that looted. Um, okay. I don't get the joke. Requires level 45 to open. Ain't that about the way it goes, guys. Here we are. We're level 43, I think. Yep, 43. Oh, 
Okay, well that's racism and we don't permit that on here, Lisa, so um Thanks for thanks for sticking around. We appreciate it, but we don't allow racist comments. That's not a that's not a funny joke, especially if you have to explain it that way. Alrighty, so now all we have to do, guys, is find a pterodon. I, w I was concerned that that might have been a racist joke when they were saying it, but I don't know enough about the culture norms over there to know for certain. And I think they may have, you know, bungled the joke at one point, but no, come to find out. Alright. Plenty of dodos around here. Is that a rock formation or a dinosaur? That's a rock formation. I was I was really thinking that was a dinosaur's tail or something. Holy Nikes! Holy Nikes! I love the lightning effect on this game. They got the particle effect just right on. It, it's it's one of the reasons why I, I don't mind the rain as much. When you are playing on the game, though, the rain effects, the sound for the rain effects, are so horrible. That looked like it might have been an alpha megalodon. We'll just leave it be. Our spear is at the halfway mark. Um, let's see here. Oh, did we put away our spyglass? No, we didn't. We just put it away for when we made our toilet. What are you? You look like you're probably a. Yeah, you're you're a dialogue. All right, we're, we're we're good with that. We will absolutely stab you with our spear. Stabbed it too many times with the spear. Made its body liquefy. Oh well. Old dodo bobbing its head. Having a good time. Well, maybe... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I went around the wrong side of the lagoon. My goodness. Yeah, those wells guys are not to be messed with at all. Those things will kill you and eat you, boat and all. Okay, and... Could be the reason why we didn't see the uh, the Alpha ra uh, Raptor, because we're not where the Alpha Raptor spawns at. Oh, there's a Threz. Female throws a sword level seven. Ugh. We know we can't bolo them. Is, is these our dudes? These are our dudes. Oh my gosh. All right, dudes, saddle up with me. We'll just go this way.
Sweet. So Geraldine and Gary, or actually Geraldine and Jerry, uh, since we realized that we got the wrong gender when we checked it. And our dodo. I forgot what we even named the dodo. Look at it waddle. It's trying to keep up, guys, a little bit. They are definitely taking some pace with us. Oh, there's the Alpha Raptor. Look at that thing, just owning the place over there, because it does. Alpha Raptors are like bears in the wild, guys. They, they sleep where they want to go, they, uh, they eat where they want to go, and they, they not only they sleep where they want to go and they eat where they want to go, but they eat who they want to eat, and they, they sleep on whatever they want to sleep on. They want to sleep on your head. They're like a cat. They'll absolutely do it. And there's not much you can do about it except for get a face full of claws. It's the reason why we are currently where we're at. Is the dodo getting closer, guys? Yep, he's just slow. Poor little dodo slow. Alrighty. Still don't have a flying replacement mount, but these guys surviving gives me hope. It gives me hope. It means the Trudon didn't want them, I guess. Trudons are always just after the, the best possible confrontation they can get. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that wasn't what we were trying to do. We were not trying to shoot it after it got knocked out. But, me, silly, silly Moston. All right, you still have some food. We're gonna up your hit points. There's Jerry, there's Geraldine. Here comes a little bit, the, the wonderful thing that she is. And we'll get on here and we'll fly. And we might have the same gender on this. I, I don't know if we have a, a male already or not, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, so we got taming meter is going to be problematic because we we definitely we bumped it on the nose a bit. You guys all stay there for now. Waiting for this thing to eat. So we can put a saddle on it eventually. Alrighty. Boy, it's food meter. He just recently ate. That's what it always looks like. Always. I remember the last one's torpor going down really, really fast, considering how much it was supposed to eat, too. I wonder if that's a change they made to the game. Alright, he's eating some there. Okay. I think you guys are definitely berry eaters. I could be wrong on that, though. Oh, here we go. Options. Change name. 
call him sentry because that's usually what these guys are done for. And we will say, you follow. Come over here, sentry. Over to your new kinfolk. You don't eat him. They don't eat you. The world's a good place. All right. And this is the part of the game that people ask me, you know, what do you think of it? How's it going? Is it, isn't it awesome? Isn't it great? Yada, yada, yada. And eventually there's always a moment where I go, um, this is the part that's just not really likable, but it is important for this to be part of the game. And that is that you're going to wind up having situations where you have to tame these guys. All right, so oh, there's a blue arc. I think we can get to it before it despawns. That's what we're waiting for. Oh, our luck, it'll get it'll actually despawn. How was my week, Foxy? My week was great. Thank you for asking. Um, I had the week off. I took two weeks off for a vacation. Uh, my wife and I have been spending some time together. Uh, Saturday is always our actual day that we spend. I, I wake up about 6 p.m. We do some, some fun stuff if we can manage it. Terror bird saddle and a medium crop plot. All right, we're, we're good with that. We are good with that. Once we can actually get the the tonic that makes us forget everything, I think we'll be pretty good. But yeah, I got some stuff done. I've been working on cleaning up my streaming area. It's mostly where I think it's going to be presentable. I, I let it go really really bad i had to do some rearranging and reorganizing stuff and it just it got out of hand and I, I i moved it from one side of our apartment to another which is really where part of the issues come up all right this thing's about to eat all right that 35 percent uh hmm We need some stone, like all of it. But yeah, we had some fun. Um, me and Digret, you know, we've been hanging out, doing some cool stuff. We've been watching some shows. We've been watching The Crown, which, um, if you've not seen The Crown, it's actually rather good. Rather good. It's one of those shows on Netflix. It's the life of Elizabeth II and how her world came crashing down when she became monarch after her father passed away. And it's... it's um, it's really cool. I don't know how accurate it is. I did not study much of Elizabeth II growing up. So that's that's one thing that I wish I could really speak to on that. How many barriers do we have on this guy? I think we had enough to make one narcotic pot, maybe. Where is he at on his torpor? Oh, Grace. Okay. All right. So let's get out here. Let's go V... Inventory, set that there, zero, set that there, grab the mortar and pestle, and if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I'm used to doing this, guys, ah, all right, access inventory, absolutely access the inventory, All right, transfer the berries over, transfer the spoiled meat over. Narcotics, make a narcotic pot. Get these berries back over. Actually, keep the berries there. Get the pot back over is what we need. Well, he's, he's taming decently, but we definitely need his torpor to go up. So, all right, so now we're going to run over here, and we're going to hope we can get some berries. Without triggering or getting killed by anything else. And 
And remember how easy it was to get all those berries with the Triceratops? Meanwhile, our little oven mitt-like hands in this game are not getting us any favors. Uh, we got three Narco Berries. We know we have four on the corpse. Well, the the dinosaur. All right, fiber, come on. I think we're up to five. Yeah, we're up to five. Let's see if we can get one more narc berry. There we go. Good. Get that over there. Consumables, drugs. Oh, this is the way we've done taming before. Uh, we've we've had to on the fly build a little taming station as I call them and craft narcotic pots so we can unfortunately get the level down on this guy and he's actually higher level than what we were riding on so that's that's a plus that is definitely a plus all right so what we're gonna do next once he tames up and it shouldn't be too much longer before he's there. He's only got like three more bites before he's tamed. This suit's going down pretty decently. I just don't know if the speed of his torpor drop We're waiting for him to take another bite. All right, now we can feed him a narcotic as well. See, his food's gonna go up. We kind of piggybacked on that. It should start going down. Excellent, and it gave us gave us about 30 torpor. That's that's pretty good for narcotic. Um, yeah, we got. We got about two more, maybe three more bites. Ugh, okay. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more on the berry department. There's an arc berry. Another arc berry. I need to go and tame a couple Pago Mastixes also. I just don't really like messing with them. But they definitely would help in the berry situation. Uh, where are we at inventory wise? Five berries. That's what we wanted to see. Enough to where we can make another pot. Alright, and put these berries there. Oh, we're out of spoiled meat. Do you have any spoiled meat? You do. Good job, Geraldine. Uh, Freestyler, we are on a private solo game, as the description says. So, there's not really any way we can knock anybody out. That, and we don't troll people, because trolling is kind of anti-spirit of the game, in my opinion. All right, second narcotic pot. Way cool. Just waiting for him to take another bite, and then we'll feed him another narcotic. All right. And up his health. Up his health, with which he's leveled up. Okay, this guy's melee gets hit, put up. All right. The dodo absolutely needs health, but ugh, okay. This thing just ate, and here's another narcotic. Alrighty, and so we got that going up here.
And what's our weight at? Uh, we're almost at 100 stones. This is not as bad as we think it could be, actually, because we can put stuff on these guys. Right, his next bite should get him there. And he's at 74% effectiveness, so he's actually going to be pretty decent. Um, his weight's at 122, though, which is a problem. When he boosts, he'll get a little bit more. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to carry us for what we need, but we'll find out. I'm 99% I'm sure he's going to actually tame before he gets conscious again. Our goal is to get him... On the boat, all of them on the boat, which is going to be problematic. Uh, at least getting him on the boat won't be too hard, because we can just go land on it. These guys should all follow onto the boat just fine. Boy, that's getting way too close for comfort, guys. Ugh. We're going to let it get all the way down to like three, and then we're going to feed them. Six, five, four, three. Eat up, buddy. We, we know that's going to boost you just a bit. And filled him up a little bit, but I think he's about to eat his meat. I think he's about to eat the meat. There he goes. All right. So, we are going to just name him Donnie, I think, because I think he's a male. Yep, he's a male. Awesome. All right, who's Donnie? He's Donnie. And are you able to fly? You are able to fly. Good. All right, everybody follow Donnie. Because Donnie knows exactly where we're going, sort of. It's K that we want. Yeah, K that we want. And K will let us basically kind of come back and see our dinos. We got we got the dodo all the way back there. Yeah, you know, his stamina is pretty good. I mean, Donnie's not too bad. Donnie the Pterodon, guys. And he's going to go save our other Pterodon, not Bait. Which I guess it's safe to actually change his name now. We're going to... We're gonna rest up a second. We're gonna get his stamina back. We're gonna wait for the the poor dodo to, to catch up to us. Maybe we'll just walk, because we we don't go anywhere near as fast while walking. Walk, 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 cause the dodo is slow. And we will go get our other dino. I, I know we're usually, we usually call it quits, guys, about 6 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday morning streams. Uh, today, we're probably going to go just a little bit longer because we absolutely want a nice wrap up on poor Not Bait, who's over there on, on the Skull Island. Alrighty. Okay, a little bit's almost there. Good. Okay. So now we can just take off and fly a bit. Uh, 
and I uh, don't know what you're saying. But we can run it through Google Translate and let Google Translate pick that up for us. It's Bulgarian. It's a language that I'm not really too comfortable with or confident with. At least according to Google it is. And Google Translate, it does help a little bit in today's day and age, but it's not the be all end all by any stretch of the imagination. Let's get our dashboard pulled back up. That's the one thing that we might like. Eventually, we'll have a third monitor and we'll be able to get to that actual information without having to juggle stuff around on our screen. All right, guys, and here is the SS Don't Eat Me. So our journey for this particular portion of the stream is just about over. So there is that. Okay. So you stay right there and do so. You guys all follow me. He's going to still be following Donnie, the Pterodon. Come on up. Come on up, guys. Onto the boat. I really need you all to get onto the boat. Oh, Donnie. Why? Why? Because I didn't tell you to stop afterward. That's why. Okay. Okay. So first thing, we're going to get on Donnie. We're going to land him right there. And we're going to get off. Alright, good old Donnie. Next is... Jerry. Come on, Jerry. Come over here, Jerry. Onto the boat. Come on. That's a good Jerry. Just a little bit further, Jerry. Good. And stay. Awesome. Geraldine. You're next. All right, Sentry, come on, this right over here, man. Come on, come on, Sentry. Just a little bit further. On to the boat, on to the boat. There we go. And thankfully, oh, it's a, it's a dark shot. Oh. Did we get a little bit on there? Oh, we got her on there. All right, so. Gonna kick her back a bit and we shoot. We score, all right guys, we got everybody on the boat. So the question is, does the boat float at this point? A question that I don't entirely know. I don't entirely know, but we are going to head toward our island. Looks like we're not capsizing, so yeah. Sweet. Peace. All the signs that say, yata, we did it. 
We are super stoked about that. Super stoked about that. Yeah, we are cold, but we are okay with this cold feeling that we have. All right, so off the boat we go. All right, so you and you and you and you and you. And you. Following human, following human, following human. Donnie's not following me. That's good. All right, guys. Over this way. Welcome to your new home. Welcome to your new home, guys. Oh, absolutely. We we are we are super excited about that little factoid. All right, and everybody get just a little bit closer to all the the food cluster. All right. Drop all that now. We got, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Spitty is is a boy, so we can't be breeding those guys, but that's okay. And everybody is in the range of the buff, except for Sentry and a little bit. So Sentry and a little bit. Come on over this way. Come on. Oh, Sarah's not there either. Oh, you guys are stuck. Ah. Uh. All right, I'm about to say you guys were stuck on Shark Killer, but I guess not. Okay. Okay, there we go. Gorny. You're not leveling up, buddy. That's okay. It's just the way it is. All right, so, Sarah. Let's just walk you a little bit closer here. And get you out. Oh, we're unsaddle off you. All right, so now everybody's getting experience. Sweet. Okay. So the last thing we have to do is get over to not bait, which is on that big old skull island. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna it's it's dark it's 23:43 we're gonna wait for daylight at this point because one of the reasons why he died unfortunately was because we didn't wait for daylight like an idiot last time so this is spitty we're gonna up his melee damage don't think anyone else is leveled up uh we have a oh buffy just leveled up okay well, maybe not. No, nope, Buffy's nowhere near leveled up. Okay. Oh, it's because the buff is being applied. The yellow ones are the ones that level up. Okay. So, this is Atuan. Movement speed, we're trying to get Atuan up to 200. Silver is not leveled up. So, I don't know at this point. I really don't know. Okay. Any damage. We know you guys all have access to the trough. The trough is full. So there's that. So that's a plus. Okay, and we are getting dangerously low on our torch. So we'll repair that. Okay, torch is repaired. We're going to go over here. We're going to drop our instruction manuals that we have on us in here our blueprints oh that one I can't because it's the way it works okay and sort by alphabetical so we don't have any duplications excellent the hide all right the Terbert saddle will put in the pre-constructed. Okay. Mushroom we'll put in with all the other mushrooms. The seeds we don't care about. The medjo berries. We're probably tomorrow morning, guys. We're probably going to try to get some pegos tamed. I, I hate pegos, but they're going to make life so much easier for me for what we're trying to accomplish. 
You'd like four of them probably tamed, wandering on this island over here. Because what the Pegos will do is they're one of the few dinos that will feed themselves. When you put them on wander, they'll actually go through here and start gathering stuff, and they'll come up with some really weird stuff. And they just live forever otherwise. Alright, so Donnie gets some food, but Donnie's Donnie's not a fish eater. Ooh, we are we are we are way okay with that. Alright. Um, I th think Hmm. Maybe fix the pike. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Pike is the only one that really needs fixing at the moment. We still got this right here fully repaired. We got the materials for the pike being fixed, so that's a plus. Alright, repair. And... I guess we can go to our our throne over here for a second. There we go. And then we want to flush the toilet. And then we get fertilizer. And that's that's where this is actually uh, going to pay dividends on the on that at least is the the toilet. With the fertilizer. Okay. So now we can put the fertilizer over in here. So once we do get our crystal, and we'll have two pterodons, so. Hmm. Where's the time at here? We're looking at 143, 144. Alright. Put the, the torch down. I know we can make it all the way to this island over here without a problem. And there's very little opposition on the island. In the future, when we use the throne, guys, we're probably going to want to do it before we craft a whole lot of stuff if we can. And that'll give us a nice experience boost. If you see that little that timer over there, uh, that's actually an experience bonus. And it's ticking down. We get like a minute of increased experience when we use the throne. That's the, the refreshment perk. All right. And here we are on this island. Uh, no, Benny, we shift will do faster flight. But we're not sure. This is a new pterodon. We don't really know. And he's he's fresh tamed. He's not been leveled or anything. So his stamina, his speed, and all that kind of jazz. Well, not his speed, because speed's a constant in the game now. Um, but things like... Uh, oh, fortitude. We, we gained access to fortitude. Okay. Um, but his... Um, his actual weight and his stamina, we're not sure distance-wise how, how well he can travel. We had to tame him up so we can get our other pterodon. We're just waiting for daylight to break here so we can go up and get to him. Because that's the one thing we don't want to do after all this time we spent. We just spent like an hour and a half chasing all this stuff down. So we can get the saddle made for him and everything else. We, we don't want to just call it a wash. That's the one thing we don't want to do. Eat? Um, yeah, we're, we're kind of low on food. 
I have a real bad, real bad habit of not eating in this game until I'm like starving and then realizing I need to eat. And he's not following us, so we're just go over here and get our, our water bottle filled up. So the Dilo, there, there is a Dilo that will spawn over here on this island. Um, it usually doesn't last too long because he attacks one of these dinos and they all kind of join in and kill him. It's good always to keep food in half so when you eat you get HP also. Um, yeah, we, we try to fill up though if we know we're going to be going to certain places. And this is this is mostly a, a rescue mission for our, our our pterodon that's up there. He's he's got some materials on him that we really want to have. And the last time we went up there it was in the dark, and that's what killed us. So we're trying to avoid going in the dark again. I tell you what really made this map a little harder was right over here. There is a well. And it always spawns and moves around there. Not uncommon for YouTubers to forget to eat and drink. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean that not in just the, the game, but in overall. And that's the reason why I have breaks set in my streaming schedule. Um, this stream right here starts at 3 and it follows a midnight one. Gives me time to rest, move, walk around, eat some food, spend some time with my wife. Uh, the next break is usually at 6. And I spend 2 hours. Uh, usually watch a little bit of television, move around a little bit kind of get some stuff going on there but uh, in this particular case I really don't like leaving this up in the air as it is so I always like to try to end these streams on a nice little spot three fifty we want to see the scorpion coming when it comes after us again I think we can fly over to the, the base of the Skull Island now. Have you played Ark Long? Uh, Benny, uh, that's a good question. Have I played it long? Yeah, sort of. I mean, I've only clocked in about 300 hours in the game. So for a lot of people, that's long. But a lot of that was played across like four or five different game states and save files and servers and, and different you know, expansion uh, mods and all that kind of stuff. So I've played it a lot. Collectively, according to this team, I've played it a whole lot. The question, though, then becomes, and not so much have I played Ark a lot or long. Uh oh But the question is, do I know what I'm doing? And that, that's that's kind of for debate. I do know between the, the bats and the the pterodon that usually the pterodon is going to survive and the, the bats are going to die. Yeah, okay. And I'm more than happy with that fact. Oh no, not passive. Uh, no, not an official type of guy, not at all. No, I keep him on non-passive because the, the flying dudes, I just can't really kill. I'm not good at fighting them. Oh, he's, the Pterodon's got to level up. Sweet. Um, we're going to up his carry weight. Oh, we'll, we'll take those off of him. We'll drop the pickaxe because we don't need the, the pickaxe that, that bat took. But we keep him on, we keep him on, uh, on neutral the way that they is there because we absolutely know that they can kill the bats way better than we can. Now, certain ones we'll put on passive, um, but for the most part, especially since we're on solo and we're not actually playing in a PvP or PvE environment, um, we're okay with that. A little better bat in your terror would uh, fly too high for it to, to whistle. Oh, nah, nah. That would be really bad, but yeah, we're, we're usually pretty okay there. Uh, 
Oh. And that's that's what we were we were afraid of with this thing. Oh, gross. We're possibly going to die again. All right, come on. Kill the bat. Run away from the scorpion, because we definitely don't want the scorpion messing with us. If this thing touches us, guys, it is all over. And people usually ask me why it is that I get my... Yeah, Don't Die is definitely the on the agenda right now. Okay, so somewhere around here was our pterodon that died. Here's not bait. We're going to get his inventory. We're going to take a saddle. We're going to take a stuff. All right, so we're going to hope this guy's not overweight. Oh, he's overweight. He's way overweight. Let's see what we can drop. Drop some stone. He is a lot overweight. How much is he overweight by? Like a saddle. Okay, that's that's great. Um, split stack. Split amount. 20. I hate dropping the crystal, but I think it's going to be our way to survive this. Oh, yeah, that was that was my fear. Like I said, it's it's not a guaranteed thing, but it's awfully close. Split stack amount. Oh no. Oh no. That wasn't good. Alright, we're going to take all these back off. Split back. Amount 14. And we're going to drop that crystal. Alright. No, we didn't mean to do that. We did not mean to push that button for certain. All right. Can we make it all to that island in time? Since we do have a second saddle, we're not too upset. We are sad. We are disappointed in ourselves. But that's the way this game works sometimes. I think this is a nice little... Wow. When it gets messed up like that on the graphics, you can see some of the stuff. This game makes you go crazy sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Absolutely. There's some stuff you, you basically just pound your head on, on, on a desk or something over and over again. All right, once he's full up stamina. I'm just hoping this new pterodon can make this this journey. From here to that other arc. That little chest coming down. We know the other one possibly could have because we were working on his stats.
And we know from prior experimentation in this game that the faster flight speed will get you somewhere quicker, but are you excited about the new update coming today? Uh, is that the RG update? Because I'm absolutely excited about the RG update coming. Uh, I love the RGs, and the fact that they're giving a huge buff to, buff to them is making me super excited. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I never wanted to hit the level for an Argentavia so bad in this game before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Give me a, a Beaver and Tavius, and I'll absolutely run with that. Hello. I do not read um, any form of kanji. Um, I hope that's the correct term. So apologies, I can't say your name. Um, why is this not letting me open? There we go. Uh, what's this? This is a Fiomia saddle. We have two of them already. We will take the that. We will drop the rest of this. All right, Donnie. And there is the other island. I'm willing to bet that's actually our island, maybe? That's getting something on it? That looks like a little base island, so that's that's good for us. I want to see the new Rex War. Make sure you oh, that's neat. That's way neat. Um, I, hadn't, I haven't read any of the patch notes, so I've been really out of the arc loop for a very long time. All right, wasn't sure. It looked like the pterodon had been eaten. All right, there he goes. All right, guys, and we're going to get our, our second pterodon, which is now our only pterodon, back to the base. Um, I kind of want to boost them, but again, I'm, I just got this, I've had problems with newer pterodons that can't carry all the weight that are almost encumbered. There's so much new coming, it's not even funny. Uh, yeah, I, I don't doubt that at all. And with things like what they're doing with the Argentavius, um, this, the patches they're making, the additions they're doing, all that kind of stuff, it, it makes me think about two things. Number one, I'm glad that I only use one mod, uh, and that's the death recovery mod. This would be... I have no problem playing without it, personally. But I know from experience that the fan base doesn't want to watch me die, which I do quite frequently in this game, and then spend three hours, four hours, getting my stuff, um, then spend the next three or four hours trying to recover whatever dinosaurs I lost. Uh, in this particular day, you know, we, we died up there, and that was about 4.30-ish, and here we are, almost two hours later, we got all our stuff, at, and that was an instant one-click button, boom, all of our stuff's back. Um, I, I can only imagine if we weren't playing with that mod, how what we'd still be doing right now. We probably been, would not have been able to recover a second Pterodon saddle, that's for certain. All right, so... Here is Donnie. All right, Donnie. Let's park you right over here for now. Shark killer. Um, someone's got a boost still going. Is it shark killer? Look, oh, I pushed the wrong button. Duh. Okay, so get Donnie's stuff. Well, he already has all the stuff. Okay, so he's got traveling meat, which is good. She's a... That's a cool mod. Haven't heard of it. Why didn't you buff up the server so you get things faster done? Um, so, Bonnie, we, we play... This is number one. It's it's on a server. Um, it's an actual solo game on PC, uh, which, it, you know, it could be considered a server uh, by some people's standards and statements. But we want to... Hey, EDG, how's it going? We want people when they come to our channel and they see us playing a game we want them to see what the true game is 
We don't want to pretty it up. We don't want to, you know, if your computer can handle it, we want your game to be able to look exactly our, how our game plays or it looks. And we also want you to be able to play the game exactly how we're playing it. Uh, that's one thing that in the past we've been frustrated with other streamers that we will see them stream a game and we'll go, man, it's a pretty cool game. And then when we get home, it's totally, totally not the game that they're playing. All right, so crafting, preserve bin, what do we need for that? All the things. All right. And so we, by subsequently, we actually, when we play games, we try not to mod the snot out of them. Because that's not a good experience for a lot of people. Okay, there's that. I, I wish they would fix that to where we could recombine stacks. Uh, single player, Edo, or EG. Uh, single player. As per the title for the video. All right. So let's... So fiber, stone, thatch, and wood. But that's that's our mentality on it. We we want people to be able to know exactly what they're getting. Improving the looks of the RG, Rex, Dire Bear, Dire Wolf, Kangaroo, and some others. Oh, that's way cool. Um, I actually never got the Kangaroo. Uh, I've never seen one in the wild yet. But that's only due to the fact I stopped playing for a long while. Okay. All right, so we're going to take all the spark pot out of there for a second. We're going to split it. We're going to transfer a piece back there. Grab this here. Put the spark powder there. And we're going to take these eggs out. Okay. So we're going to need to farm up some spark powder pretty soon. That, that much is apparent. All right. So, guys, it is daylight. We have survived what we were pretty much getting killed by. Air thing. That's, you know, this game in a nutshell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's one thing. That's the... You know, that's the one setting that we change on here, other than the, the mod, is we do speed up the, the taming a bit. We do speed up, if we do decide to do breeding, we're going to speed up the breeding a bit. And that's always, every time I go to tame, every time I'll go to breed, I will be informing the viewers at home. Guys, this setting's been changed on the official server. This process takes a much longer time. And it's only mainly for the, the magic of internet streaming that we even increase it. Because we know for a fact that this game, when you stream it on the base settings, is horrific. Um, no one wants to watch me sit down in front of a, a dinosaur corpse, and that's really what it boils down to until it's tamed for an hour or four hours or I think 16 hours on some of the tames. And that's you know that's that's also though you got to keep in mind that we're playing this in a solo environment. And in a, a server environment, you normally would have a, a tribe, and they would normally be all organized to be taming that kind of stuff. Like you'd have taming groups. Kangaroo isn't the right name, but you totally understood. I, I knew what you were meaning, though. I knew what you were meaning. Well, Turtle Club, we normally stop this stream at 6. Right now it is 6.25. We had a, a task before us that we wanted to get done, and we accomplished that. Uh, tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. we're going to go back. Procoptodon. All right, cool, cool, Procoptodon. Tomorrow we are going back to the Mountain of Death, also known as Skull Mountain on this map. 
and we are going to absolutely try our best to get as much crystal as we can so we can start building us a I think probably right here we're going to build us a greenhouse it'll be like a probably a two by three panel so we can start growing some stuff get some water into it and start really taking off we need to get some rock carrots growing so we get some kibble so we can once again tame a nickthosaurus uh, that's our best bet at this point that's one of the reasons also why we while we're out and about tamed this dude here or this female here a little bit a little bit the dodo we're gonna up her hit points because they are not smart and they need all the help they can get and what's the last thing I was just thinking about before we stopped guys oh yeah we all right we're going to pick up their contributions to the garden we're gonna put them away don't forget Gigantifix with his new jump and armor breaking punch. Oh, okay. Is that the sloth? The Giganta whatever? Because that's another one that I never ma managed to tame originally. Alright, so... Alright, so we got all that. So the good news is, is once we do get the garden going, we've been, we've been producing some of this stuff. So we should be alright. But yeah, Turtle Club, um, thanks to everybody who showed up today. Really appreciate you guys. Um, Foxy, always cool to see you watching. Uh, thanks for being a, a fan of ours and watching when we play. Uh, Banny, welcome to the channel. Um, EDG, cool to see you there. Craney, sorry I didn't say hello to you when you popped in. I always try to do that. Kind of distracted. Tiger, my man, thank you for coming in and hanging out with us. Always cool to see one of our actual supporters on our channel. Um, Jordan, Waffle, uh, I think I, and uh, Giggity Bite, who was in here, and Trims and Shadows, and Gamer4206. Way cool for you guys to all be hanging out with me this morning. Oh, not, oh, thanks, Banny, thanks. Uh, yeah, we, we stream uh, for ARC. Welcome to the Turtle Club, Banny. We stream ARC every night on the weekends at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that's Friday into Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, Sunday into Monday. It's three hours on Fridays and Saturdays, and on Sunday night into Monday morning, um, that stream goes for six hours. Uh, so we figure, you know, if everybody's, are, you know, on their Monday, we kind of want to give them a little bit more extra opportunity there. But yeah, other than that, uh, we will see you guys in an hour and a half if you're still around for Majora's Morning Muffin, which is our Majora's Mask playthrough on the N64 version on the Wii U. And uh, Sunday night, uh, we'll also be doing Skyrim with Digrat. So that's that's the more mature audience. If you guys like some uh, some colorful language, you definitely, definitely can check that out. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good morning, a good evening, good night, whatever you're about to have. Just have a good one. Take care.